Welcome to another training session video. Uh, this week for the 16th of March, we're going to be focusing in on some sprint power. And I've done things a little bit differently. Rather than going directly on Zwift and kind of reading from a screen, I'll probably be a little bit more interactive from here on out. Uh, this week's goal is to work on neuromuscular coordination and also be able to know as to how to generate a lot of power in the saddle or out of the saddle in this case. Uh, and so to walk through what the intention of this workout is, uh, you'll notice that there's gonna be lots of really hard spikes in power where you're gonna be going at well above your FTP. In fact, uh, some of these intervals are about 250% of your FTP, which is way above what normally, what most people would be able to do in even in regular riding. and. To explain this a little bit further, I'll kind of walk through the workout, at least, with the thoughts. Uh, so we'll start off, in the first 10 minutes, there's going to be a warm-up. Uh, so we'll start at about 35% power, and we'll get to about 85% power. And this, of course, is FTP. This is all relative. We'll start off in the first 10 minutes, we'll probably get to 85%, and then we're going to go right into a little bit of a rest period. And then from the rest period, we'll start to then go into a warm-up set, which we'll do uh, three lots of 30 seconds at about 125% power. So I'll mark this in red. And the reason why I'm doing this color coding here is just to show um, what's the amount of power that you're going to have relative to the time frame. So one thing that I'll start doing in later videos is to illustrate as to, even though you may only be doing really serious amounts of power for a short, short amount of time, when it comes to more polarized training, you want to count that entire segment in terms of those intervals as part of all counting all of that as hard effort. Uh, but you'll start to go to about 125% uh, of FTP, so this is about 125 here. We'll do these for about 30 seconds. Uh, multiply that by three. So we'll have uh, three short, hard intervals. And then we'll have a little bit of recovery from that. Actually, we'll need to do this, complete this out. Um, and then we'll do some recovery. Apologies on the markers here. We'll do a little bit of recovery and then we'll warm up a little bit further before we get to our main set. Here, this is about 60, 65% of power. Uh, we'll do that for about two minutes and then we're going to go ratchet up the intensity. Uh, the level here is 250%. And we're going to do this for 15 seconds. That looks like a 15, well, it looks like 16, 15 seconds. And the objective of these 15 seconds is to go as hard as you possibly can, essentially. Um, so for me, this is at 788 watts, but for those 250%, so if your FTP is at 100, you're going to go at 250 watts and it continues to spike onwards. So if you're a 250 watt FTP, then you're going to be going at about um, a little bit under 600 some watts or a little over 600 some watts. We're gonna be doing this four times through. Uh, we're gonna do 15 seconds basically all out and then followed by uh, what's going to be three minutes and 45 sec or two minutes and 45 seconds of recovery. So uh, one set is three minutes. And we'll basically repeating this times three. Uh, and then we'll have an additional period of recovery afterwards. Uh, but this is your main set here. And this will be very painful. Uh, the set here is kind of the warm-up to the main, so tune, and this is really more or less to get your body ready 
and then we'll go into our main set, which is three minutes of 15 seconds all out, two minutes, 45 seconds of recovery. And the intention here is with this recovery, you're going to be recovering at even lower than 50% um, here. So it is about 40% uh, for a recovery FTP. And take this recovery seriously. Uh, make sure that you really spin out the legs because these 15 seconds will really sneak up on you. Uh, then we go to our second main set, which is again 65. But instead of 15 seconds, we're going to do 30 seconds. This is going to really put the hurt lock in on you. So it's going to be very important that you get your good recovery in here. And the reason why we go with these really short, hard efforts is because um, you may need to be able to have that recruitment of neuro, uh, neuromuscular coordination uh, in order to be able to have sudden power outputs when you need to, if you need to get out of your saddle a little bit without fully affecting you. Um, in this second set here, uh, we're doing uh, three of these. Actually, yep, three of these. And these are also going to be, I think, if I recall correctly, I think I put these at four minutes each. Um, and these are at 200% of FTP. And these are 30 seconds of what is essentially almost all out effort. A, a little bit more coordinated, but you're going to be really hurting at the at end of each one of these. And then you'll still have 40% as your recovery. And then afterwards, uh, then we have a last burner at one minute here. So we have a one minute interval, and this is, I believe, at 125%. It might be a little bit more. Actually, no, 150. Excuse me. So 150% effort. So that is, again, really hard. And this one minute is more or less to see, all right, how, how can you sustain after doing all of these uh, particular intervals. I believe this may not be three times, this might be four times when it comes to the 15 second intervals here. Um, and then afterwards, uh, we have a little bit of a recovery period followed by a warm down. Uh, so that's the essentiality of what these sprints are. The intent here is to focus on anaerobic and neuromuscular coordination to be able to put out really hard amounts of power. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Um, but with that stated, um, again, this is going to be a workout that you probably want to come in somewhat rested. Uh, there's going to be lots of different uh, varying intensity levels. Uh, this is kind of part of the core of polarized training to where the hard effort is really hard and the recovery is indeed recovery and intended to be really easy. So that's an explanation for what this Tuesday's workout is going to be. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to go ahead and answer. And uh, that's essentially it for this coming week's workout. So be prepared for a sweat fest. And if you like in any of this content, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button and if you uh, really want to keep up to date with all the latest uh, videos that I've put out, especially when it regards to training and other things with endurance exercise, uh, then go and click on that bell notification. That'll help this channel out. And um, with that, uh, take it easy out there, and we'll see you swifting.